Well, hello there and welcome to this tutorial on how you can build these accessible shulker box loaders. By accessible, I mean that you can interact with the shulker boxes as they're being loaded. So you can walk up, you can open them up, you can see what's going on inside of there. You can take items out, you can put items back in, and you can even crack the shulker boxes and the next one will be dispensed for you automatically. And then the filled ones will end up down here in this chest. I've got two designs here. This one over here is the standard design. It is two wide tileable. And this one over here is the double speed design. It is three wide tileable. And you can see that it requires a water channel in order to feed it items. A hopper channel will not be able to feed it items fast enough. If we come down here, you can see it is feeding in items two at a time. As far as I can tell, it simply isn't possible to make this design one wide tileable. It's just down to the sheer number of faces that are available on a shulker box. If you want to use one of them up so that you can open the shulker box, something's got to give, something's going to end up having to be on the side. There just aren't enough faces in a one wide tileable design to have it also be accessible. Similarly over here, if you're adding another input chain of hoppers to make it a double speed loader, I just, I'm pretty sure there isn't a way to make it smaller than three wide. These shulker box loaders have a slightly larger footprint than your standard shulker box loader, but they're not really intended for use in your main base sorting system or anything like that. You could certainly use them for that if you wanted to, but I designed these principally for use in like a farm or something like that, where you might not get a full shulker box with the items super quickly, but you'd still like them to be loaded into shulker boxes. So say for example you had a witch farm and you AFK'd there for a couple of hours, you might end up with like a half a shulker box with the items. And you might want to take that half a shulker box and not have to wait for a whole shulker box to get filled up. But if you AFK'd overnight, you'd still like it to load up those two shulker box full of redstone. And then you could just grab those and go. And you could also just come and take, you know, a stack or two of redstone from the farm if you needed to. So I found this to actually be pretty useful in those circumstances. And I've been using this in quite a few farms in my survival world ever since I developed it. And this one right over here, I developed specifically for use with my blast chamber, where the items come in super duper quickly because it's a TNT explosion every 20 seconds or so. And then the items will come in really quickly. But then once it's done, you might only have, you know, like a row of items in there and a full blast session might actually not fill a full shulker box. So it's useful to be able to access the shulker box in the meanwhile, while it's also loading things. If you did a long uh, blast chamber session, you might end up with several shulker boxes for the items. I'll include this just because it might be useful to somebody else. But this one, it, the double speed is kind of a niche kind of situation. It might be useful in like a flying machine sugarcane farm or something like that where the initial swell of items is going to come in very fast but it might take a half an hour or so for it to actually fill up a shulker box. So I'll include, I'll show you how to build this one as well. Both of these shulker box loaders can handle mixed items. So if I've got a shulker box that's almost full here and I add in a partial stack here so we've got two partial stacks and then if I change it over to a third item like so, system's not going to care. It's still going to crush this shulker box and dispense out another one as soon as it reaches a certain point. Should be shortly. There we go. And then it's just going to put orange ones into the next chest. We'll start with the basic shulker box loader. So you want to start with the chest at the bottom of your shulker box loader. This is where the output items are going to go. Place a hopper going into it, like so and then place a comparator pointing out of the side of it and then point an observer facing straight up coming off of that and then a dispenser on top of that pointing towards the hopper and place a soul sand right there so that it'll place shulker boxes right on that soul sand. We can place that shulker box right there for now and then we'll point a hopper going into it. Place a temporary block behind the soul sand so we can place a block there temporary block behind that so we can go a block up, temporary block above that so we can go a block forward. Should end up with this shape right here. You want to place a comparator coming out of the hopper here and then two pieces of redstone dust here and here. And then we can place a hopper going into the dispenser here and then place a slab, a top slab up against that so that we can place a hopper going, it's going to point into that slab like so. And then we're going to come to the back here. We're going to place an observer 
pointing into that redstone dust. So it looks like that. And then a sticky piston on the back of that and an observer facing straight forward. Solid block with a redstone on two ticks, like so. And then we're going to have that go into a solid block. But it's probably easier to just place a temporary block here, solid block there, slab there, solid block layer, like so. And then you can remove that and then just place two bits of redstone right there and right there. And then you can place a sticky piston pointing straight down. That'll push this slab down and break your shulker boxes for you. And then we can place a double chest right back here. This can be two hoppers, but it's much more efficient to make it be a double chest. So you can bring some hoppers up. This is where you're going to fill in. This is where you're going to load in your items that will get placed into the shulker box. And you can place another chest right here. And this is where you will place your empty shulker boxes. And uh, that's all there is to it. If you wanted to add a sorter to this, then you would come out here to the second hopper right here. Place a block behind it right next to this block here and then actually switch this hopper so it's pointing into that block and then you would come back two more blocks come down a block place a temporary block there so you can place another block below it go ahead and place a repeater facing forward and a torch on the other side of that block and then we want one more block right there and we'll place a comparator on top of this first block here and then three more redstone dust right there and then we will point a hopper going into that comparator. And this is where you want to place the sorters. So if whatever item you want to have sorted, let's say we're going to do white concrete here, place them there. And then in the other four slots, you would place items that will never go through your sorting system. I like using renamed items. So we can just name this like filler, like so. And then we just place one of each of those items in there. And that'll prevent it from emptying out for any reason. And then there's our sorting system right there. And then what you would have is you would have a chain of hoppers that would come across it like that. And then you would feed in your items here. And if we put in items like so, then they would get sorted. And if we put in items that aren't supposed to be sorted, then they would end up going through past it and would not get sorted. And as you can see, the soul sand made it into this chest past this hopper, and the white concrete ended up down here. One really important caveat about this system is you need to be very careful about what blocks you place next to this soul sand here. So if I were to come and place a solid block right there, every once in a while, when it breaks the shulker box, the shulker box will land on the edge of this block. It will not get sucked up by the soul sand and it will actually despawn and that would be very, very bad. I can solve that problem by placing another solid block right on top of it. And then it might bounce against that wall, but it's going to land on the soul sand and everything's going to be fine. And that problem extends back here where this hopper is not a solid block. So if I were to place a solid block right there, it might eventually land on the lip right there and then that will cause problems. So you can leave this blank and that won't cause any problems or you can place stairs going this way or something like that, like that, that won't cause a problem. You could place a bottom slab, but you cannot place a top slab. You cannot place anything where the top of this block extends up because it's actually going to be a small amount taller than the soul sand. So that'll cause problems right there. So anything like this, that all works, but this also extends to the front of this thing. So I can't place a set of stairs like that. I can't place a set of stairs like that. I can, however, place a set of stairs like that. I don't personally like the look of that. I just prefer to have the soul sand bare. I, it's not the most attractive thing in the world, but you do get used to it. But if you wanted to, you can place a set of stairs like that, but you cannot set it like that. And you cannot like put a slab. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but that won't work either. Just be very, very careful about what you place next to that soul sand. For the double speed loader, you start out the same way. You start out with the chest, put a hopper into the back of it, comparator on the side, observer pointing straight up, like so, dispenser pointing like that, soul sand, and then we can place a shulker box on top of it to get it started. And then we want to place hopper on the back, but we also want to place a hopper on the side. And then we want to place a temporary block down here and then place blocks on this side and this side. So we're next to this hopper and behind this hopper, remove that block, 
temporary blocks right there and right there. So make this little shape like that. And then can remove the middle. So we got that shape, but we got two of them now this time. On this side, come over here, put comparators pointing out of the hoppers on both of those. And then redstone dust on these four blocks right there. And then we want to place a piston pointing straight up, right up against this block right there. And then an observer pointing straight up, like so. And then skip a block, place another block on top of that, so like that. And then uh, I guess we'd actually leave that for a second, and then we come out a block. And then we need a slab, because we're going to have a chest underneath here. And then come over like so. And this one's going to have a repeater on two ticks. And this one's going to have redstone dust, redstone dust. Come on down, place a sticky piston pointing straight down. Put a slab on the bottom, on the face of it like that. And then we want to place a hopper facing up from this dispenser here. And that's where you can place your chest to put your empty shulker boxes in, like so. There we go. And then we want to place hoppers pointing into the slab and pointing into the, the piston like this on both of these sides. So pointing into the slab, pointing into the piston. And then after that, you can have your hoppers going straight up. And if you're not going to use a sorting system, then what you want to do here is you want to set it up so that you've got a situation where one of the hoppers has a hopper underneath it and it's also pointing into right there uh, into a popper on its side so that way this hopper is going to push items into this one and this one's going to pull ones down so that will make this a double speed hopper and then if we place our water stream around this hopper like so you just place a water stream that's feeding into this hopper right here then that will work as a double speed loader right there or alternatively what you can do is you can run the chain of the two hoppers like so and then you can run it all the way way back here if you wanted and then but you got to run both sets of hoppers and then again you want a situation where you're pointing into one hopper and you have another hopper on top of uh, underneath it and this is where you'd put the water um, you could also just have two chains of hoppers that are feeding the system or you could feed it from a double chest if you wanted to like set it up like there but uh, it'd be harder to you've got to feed that double chest twice as fast somehow so any of those situations will work if we wanted to use this with a sorting system there's two different ways we can do it the simplest is just to have two different sorters so if we wanted to we would come up two blocks from here so we come up two blocks from this white block right there and for this one we'll actually come over and then go up a block and that's where you would set up your sorters so we come out three blocks like so in the middle one we come down a block place a redstone torch on the front side of that temporary blocks right here so we can place blocks underneath them redstone torch is going into them and then blocks on the back here there we go and then we place comparators right here and redstone dust on the remaining six blocks like so and then we place repeater hoppers going straight into them and this is where we place our sorting items so if we want a white concrete we do that and then we place four filler items um, regular items that won't ever go through the sorting system this will go down to 41 same thing over here like so and then this is where you would run your water stream across what you could do is you could set up an ice stream like this and then you can set up a uh, glass panes against a wall so what we would do is we would set up a chest here a double chest to align the items like so and then glass panes all the way the rest of the way across and then you would have your water stream it would run like this so it would turn here and then go into this chest and then the water stream would come across this and then that would allow the uh, hoppers to pick up the items that they want only the white concrete for these sorters they'll only pick those items up and they'll bring them down into the shulker box loader the other option you can use is a single double speed shulker box loader so here we want to come with this one up two blocks past this and for this one we actually want to come only one block past and so we'll put a hopper pointing into this one like that and then a hopper pointing into that one and then a hopper pointing straight down and then we'll put the sorter at the same basic spot like right here but only one sorter so three blocks across one block down temporary block there 
block there and block there and then place a repeater right there and then place a redstone torch right here comparator coming out of this hopper here and then redstone all the way down like so and then what we'd actually want to do here and i'm pretty sure you have to do this ahead of time is to fill this hopper right here with all the items that you want to sort it's just going to end up staying filled all the time but if you're getting items that fast that shouldn't be a problem and then we will put our sortable item into this first slot and then our filler items into the last slot right there and then what we do is we would run our ice all the way across and then we can continue our glass panes right here the same basic idea that we were doing before like so and then that would sort this so this would actually grab the items into the single hopper and then it would send them separately into each of these two and you'll note that I actually put these a block apart just so that you can tell which one's which, but there's no reason you can't put these right back to uh, right next to each other. There are different situations where you might want to use these two different types of sorters. So if your items are coming in so fast that one hopper can't keep up, then this situation is what you're going to want to use because one hopper can't keep up. But if your items are coming in fast enough that one hopper can keep up, then this one is going to get them into the shulker box faster because if you look at this one most of the items are going to come into this hopper right here so this one's probably going to run at capacity all the time and then you're going to get you know sporadic items coming through into this one but on this one right here the items are all going to come into this one hopper and then again it get divided evenly between these two chains of hoppers and then you're going to get truly double speed loading down at the bottom here whereas this one you might actually end up only getting like one and a half speed loading but if you have to have two hoppers in order to keep with the up with the items then that's what you got to do but if you don't need that then i highly recommend this one right here Note that the same caveat applies to this shulker box loader as it does the other one. You have to be very careful about what blocks you place up against this soul sand. And that includes the back boat over here, but it now includes this one right here because we've got a hopper on this side. So we can't place any solid blocks underneath that hopper. We can't place any stairs or anything like that that go all the way up to the edge. Can't place any top slabs or anything like that. You can place a bottom slab. You can place the stairs like so if you wanted to. Uh, that would be fine and the same thing for the back side you could place the stairs like that but you can't place them the other way you can't place solid blocks just be really careful that you don't have any solid edges right up against this sole sand anywhere underneath the hoppers or on this front side right here so again same thing here you can't place stairs like this and you can't place stairs like that and you can't place top slabs or solid blocks or anything like that and you wouldn't want to place a solid block on top of the, uh, this chest uh, but you also can't place glass up there either so that's all there is to these joker box loaders I'll put the world download in the description I'll put some light Matica templates if you'd rather use those instead but I want to thank you very much for watching have a good one and take it easy